Down from Mount Olympus, the gods that are fanatic smile as they head to a third. It was through sheer willpower that they managed to pull it across. Well. <laughs> yeah, luck, flusher, and a little bit of a misplay from the Mad Lions. Well, fanatic, they've been given a new lease of life, some fresh oxygen in their lungs. It seems that GG.bet have still given the edge to Mad Lions, and you can understand why, as our pre-match and pre-chat has indicated. That looks like a nice and easy connector lineup. Thank you, J-Dubs. That's a perfect smoke. Stolen. Shush, however, does struggle to find his first. And that was a very big repeak from Roy. Oh, Acor is just sniping with the USP. And just like that, the three flurried frags do pretty much put the bow on this round. It is a very stylish P250, but it is just a P250 for Flasher against an entire squad. Similar piss round as to what they ran the other day against Complexity, the P250 out through Palace and lots up through Ramp to try and take space towards CT spawn, but that was denied. Roy hitting a shot, and that was a bit of a distraction there Damn for Acor. That is some fantastic shooting. Three oh. bullets, three headshots, lovely stuff there, and that's the precision you want to be seeing from your Orpa. We spoke a big game about him in the pregame here today. Hasn't had an opportunity to come alive on the previous two maps, but if he's going to, this would be the one. And you can see here, Fnatic without the plant, they will be opting to go for the save. AK is to come out in the third and the buy from Mad Lions. It represents exactly, exactly that. It's just going to be the two SMGs, one for Hooksy, one for Shush. They've opted for three rifles. And they shouldn't be losing too much here. Now, once again, Fnatic will opt for a slower pace. Any kills they can get is great, but you know that you can bleed out some utility. Roy's going to be held on notice, spotting them underpass and towards top middle. But it's Glocks, no armor. And no hope, really. JW will be trying his luck, seeing if he can get a bit of a timing or get a odd little dink off there. Roy with the scope. It's the perfect weapon for the job. Aiko with the slow firing rate of the M4 needs to be careful. Yeah, he does get overwhelmed. Yeah, it's a little bit of a problem. This is a very interesting peek. He's sticking around. I think he might even try to look up, but JW, I think... Oh, Flusher taking a bit of space here. Shush is the one to deal with it. Refresh still pushing up. It's a lot of info, Chad. Oh, and there the pick comes in. The A site, two players here. Brolin with the Deagle. Ooh, a little smoke nonsense. Okay. And refresh. He's still going, Chad. What do you make of that? Well, this is good. He's going to be on the flank on the A site, and that's exactly where Fnatic are going right now. They're finishing over towards A. They've tucked on in, and Acor's taken a big lick of damage right now as Hooksy, he wants to mantle up and over, but thinks better of it. If he pushes and dies, that's a rifle in their hands, and Flush is coming his way. The spam, the flash. It's all bad for Flusher, as he was actually flushed on up by his teammate, and this is where the flank of refresh comes into play. It's just JW with the AWP and Golden in sight with the Deagle. JW doing his very best, but they know where he is. They have Molotovs, Flashes, HEs, everything to deal with him and he may as well save. Backing on off, the defuse will come through. The double orbs are going to be carried across and Mad Lions are going to put their fifth on the board. Well handled. Very nice. Five, four Mad Lions. Uh, <clears throat> and a bit of a break, a bit of a moment's respite as well in the finances. You can see that Hoopsie was very ready for the push. Very lucky. JW flashing flusher there could have gone the other way around. It's, uh, that was a pretty... Bad death from Shush, I'm going to say, because that orbs... Oh, wow. Bit of a death slam there from Flusher. Not the hardest we've seen. I think Apex had a pretty hard one the other day. Yep, blame Shook the camera. JW just carrying across this saved AWP now. Their loss bonus going forward is going so, uh, to be 2,400. Observer team drawing your attention as well over to that boost. Gets brawling across. But also the window not broken. These are the rounds Mad Lions lose. It has been. That was Inferno, though. Do Fnatic have the same level of affluence? If Mirage, he pushes straight through the smoke. Shush was there to pick up the pieces. Roy was exposed, but there you go. Any more where that came from? Keep him coming. JWs could be set up for success on the AWP. There is one in play. Shush throws his smoke safely. Not going to fall foul to any beginner errors. B apps being pushed by Hooksy now, so he's had a lot of information for his team. Now, Crims is yet to frag. He might have a chance to nutmeg in this mid smoke, and there it is. He's taken Shush down now. This becomes a four on four. Hooksy's information, it doesn't really grant them a lot. There's massive gaps here. Huge gap. At least that's the bomb. And here comes Hooksy, solving all the mid problems in one fell swoop. JW is under a lot of threat. He knows short is a potential, but will the timing favor refresh? It looks like it will. Holding down and just walks into the orb line. Krim strafing into Hooksy. I liked his chances there. Triple kill again from Hooksy. He's having a lot of impact. We talked to him uh, just yesterday or the day before. Talking about his impact. 
as an in-game leader, and he definitely doesn't want to be using the in-game leadership as a uh, excuse. It's the best excuse, dude. Trust me. I know. First hand. In there. Used it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm calling the strategies, all right? I, I don't I have, have to shoot call. people. That's my job. It's all me, all right? You guys do what I say. And then we'll win. Yeah. Don't press tab. Probably would have helped if I had a couple kills. Well, all right. Double Orb still being held on for Mad Lions, and I'm loving what I'm seeing here. Acor and Refresh have been very active in Flusher. He's not loving what he's seeing. Legged on up, tagged on down, 5 HP. Some interesting setups from Mad Lions indeed. Three players over towards B within the early stages. No Caretaker for Window. Hooksy's taking Vent space. Oh, uh, Hooksy, there's a bum there for you, mate. Give that one a slap as Golden. He's going to be peppered from behind, and that's a big opening. Peppered Swedish steak. Oh, could go for a steak right now. It's been a while. It's a flubbed molly, so Hooksy has gap, and he's oh, almost got more impact. Could have very well led to more. Well, they've got a 2 2 split now, the CT, so Fnatic will be pushing into a numbers oh. advantage if they group. Is the vent broken, Rush? It is. Okay, so there is a gap towards window, and you can see Acor having to look towards spawn to deal with that right now. It's low HP. Ooh, refresh would have to miss a big shot here. Yeah, it's going to be down to Bronze's timing as well. When does he choose to arrive on short? Why is Roy left refresh? That's how little information they've got. There, he's hedging as well. Oh, this is a problem. A big problem now. Look at every second that passes. Now Refresh has got a lot to do. He does deal with Flusher. A re-peak and a JW frag. That's everything. Refresh, the impact. This man has delivered all four and pulls the seventh straight out of the bag. Mad Lions breaking Fnatic. Well, there were problems, and then Refresh has stepped up in superstar form, and we said that this kid has the potential alongside of Acor to be the powerhouse, to be the driving force. I didn't think it was going to be done on the secondary AWP on the B side of Mirage, locking Fnatic and halting their round spree, keeping them to three, and that's seven. You have to be celebrating that one. You can see that's a big one. We're getting that from all the POVs. Fist bumps, smiles. Everyone's having a good time in the Mad Lions camp now as one more round, they've won the half. Fnatic might be granting them that. You can see how spotty the rounds are again. Pissed around with the conversion in the back pocket of Mad Lions. What There's the hell? Early AWP coming out for JW. You remember that knife kill? I do. But I mean, I'm putting up wanted posters or rather missing posters for Brolin. Where is that boy? Yeah, Crims too. Only one kill for him. Interesting. They've been kept honest by Mad Lions opening here on the CT side. And it is back to the rounds Mad Lions have struggled <laughs> with. Well, uh, it's going to be a B execute. What are we looking at here? It looks like four players quickly into the B apartment to top mid smoke just to keep them busy. Roy will have to deal with that. And they know that there's an AWP in play. So a refresh is where they want to isolate. He got four kills last time around. They're thinking there's no way he can do it again, especially if we throw a bunch of flashes in his face and smokes and Molotovs to boot. And here we go. Molly from Refresh, he's going to hold them back. He needs help, he needs it now. Yeah, and it arrives in the form of Hoopsie, who's quickly found Golden and another onto Flusher. So they will not be getting that bomb down. Roy makes sure of that. Refresh even lived. And he gets to tell the story of the time he nearly died. Double Orps working wonders for Mad Lions. Ever since they made that transition, Chad, they've been picking up rounds. Yeah, and this has been keen from Mad Lions. I'm loving what I'm seeing, and I think the Double Orps setup is allowing them to play a little bit more flexible in their setups. As we mentioned before, they had a round where they push an AWP up here, they push an AWP in towards A apartments, and they can go for that flexibility more and more. Acor has a good spawn now. He can go for an apartments push with the AWP again, or quickly over towards A ramp or connector. So using their spawns, oh, he's fluffed the jump there. Maybe we'll cancel That's that apartment's push. Yeah, normally his movement's so good, so to see him miss something like that, a bit pedestrian. But it's a four-man alien from Mad Lions right now. Oof. There's Brolin. Oh, there he is, found him. He's in middle, popping off. Takes off two members of the Mad Lions connected offense. And there should be no way in. Especially now Refresh has been spotted, fragged, and likely finished off. A flash to try and help his teammate out. Go on, Refresh, spurred forwards. They're not going to get anything out of it. Acor perhaps, maybe undisputed. No, nope, he is going to be found. And now Hooksy's presented an impossible clutch. JW there. But Brolin gets all of the beans after that one. Okay. Well, that was a very aggressive mid play from Fnatic there. And yeah, good call with the timeout from Mad Lies. Just discuss your options. That round happens so quick. Maybe you don't even know what you lost to. Maybe you don't even know what it looked like. You got 
an extra 20 seconds at this point. Sorry, 30 seconds at this point, just to have a conversation. And we wanted Brolin, and there he is with three huge kills. So getting the fourth on the board for Fnatic here, still competitive on Mirage. Will it be the double orbs again? We haven't seen Refresh. Oh no, Refresh is rocking an M4, so no, it will not be. Here's just a little bit of a recap of some of the highlights so far. There's Acor kicking things off in style on the pistol round with a bag of big frags. JW with this knife kill facilitating his orb on the third round, and then two rounds for Fnatic to follow. Hooksy, the in-game leader with some impact here in the game. And then refresh with this stylish highlight on the B-bomb site. Four to deal with and four dealt with. Yeah, it was this last shot, look at that. After you've hit the first three, you are feeling extra sharp taking those. Okay, well, it is a feigned mid control from Mad Lions here. They haven't actually opted to push. You can see the smoke molly combo to give the idea that they've gone for a full mid aggress. And it's really just Acor. He's having the entire mid corridor as well as underpass for his own personal orping field. My fear though is, it, does he, okay, he waits, he goes back in as the smoke fades. Had there been a re-aggress from Fnatic, that could have been a very vulnerable position, but they're staying very stationary. In fact, more so than I anticipated. Now the top mid smoke blooms. Bronn's gonna get a pop flash set up deep to hopefully force out some util. Yeah, you can see that they're not aware of how much space Mad Lions have taken. That is noted by JW's Molotov towards the mid-boxes. So now that they can see that nobody has aggressed all the way up, they can retool and understand that this is just a standard round. Mad Lions could have pushed underpass, but they haven't gone into the B apartment, so they don't have that information. And while this happens, Fnatic is setting up an A execute. Okay, so that flash is everything. It just calls for it. They're set up for the swing. Now... That wasn't a great they, flash. Yeah, no, A, you get a bad flash, and B, shush, I can't help but feel you're about to get caught, bro. Pins are pulled. He readies his aim. And Brolin is going to be the first to have a look. Bad flash as well from Fnatic. Enables shush. And there's more where that came from. The pre-fire, but it's not enough. He doesn't control it. Flush has got another. Aqua has to contain them. It's a hard shot. 18 seconds, getting it would win the round, but now the Molly forces his hand. He has to back away. Hooksy does have vision, and he's found Flusher. That's not the bomb, though. JW has to plan. He can't anymore. And the round will go Mad Lion's way. Cool, calm, and they collect. Yeah, JW with the AWP just looks like a martyr there, jumping into the site, trying to give them an opportunity to close that round out. But that's going to be nine now for Mad Lions. They're able to keep three alive, so their reinvestment into round number 14 is going to be a full buy, whereas Fnatic, what are you going to be able to pull together here? Acor does a great job to stall them coming out of apartments, and that tees the in-game leader up in a big way. Smokes have faded. So were Fnatic's chances as the face palm from Brolin. I think it's starting to say it all here. The game slipping away from them quickly here. I think five should be on the docket as they will buy. The Lil for Crims, utility not plentiful. JW down to the open. Brolin, he's going for that aggression that helped them win their last gun round. Very quick towards connector this time. And he's on his own. Look how much of an island he is. There's a bit of help towards the back of middle, and that's in that golden, but he can't actually trade. He can't be up close and personal, especially if a boost like this comes through. And he's going to get the head. Oh, he was ready for it. Fnatic, get the opening kill. Now, they need to convert this. Oh, Hooksy with a nice trade. He did, yeah, but JW's just jumped into the B site. Acorc should be able to punish this, but Golden swings around. Fnatic, some individual brilliance across the entire map, is rendering the rest of Mad Lions completely and totally useless. Shush the last, and he does control it nicely into Flusher. Bomb late to the arrival, and it's finished off before we can get too excited. Okay, so going into the last round of play, it really looks like Fnatic can walk away with six, and it's been hard, it's been labored. They've had to work for their rounds. They've only had two on the trot, and that was rounds three and four. The rest have been spotty, they've been on their own, and they have a chance here to close this half out with two consecutive rounds. It will be against three MP9s, an M4A1S in the hands of Shush and Acor rocking a scout. Not a single kid in play, so we might expect a little bit more aggression out of Mad Lions here, maybe wanting to take the fight to Fnatic, who once again are just going to kill across the map, looking for frags, Flusher falls. Individualism at an all-time high as Hooksy's oh. found two. Yeah, well, this is them just bringing everything from Inferno back up, boiling up inside them. Charge, they say. They mount their cavalry and do just that, but it has not necessarily converted the round. It certainly feels like it's done a lot of the heavy lifting already but they're taking space on B and that's actually really nice, playing ahead of their own B smoke. 
Sound cue would have perhaps let lulled the Fnatic members into a false sense of security, but they are in middle, and now with that information that B is clear, they opt to pivot middle. Refresh back to B, Hooksy towards underpass, and Hooksy's arrival underpass, I wonder if it gets checked. Crims is checking it. Oh, brutal. Fnatic know that the uh, B apps players have pushed up. That info doesn't help Mad Lions whatsoever. Hooksy's just died in vain there. Roy. But Roy. <laughs> Take those any day of the week. That's the bomb down and Golden will retrieve it. But now he's got so many different pushes to worry about. He's piecing the puzzle together in his brain. He's decided window or oh, window to B could be cool. Very cool. What's he doing with it though? He is going at least around. Could we go CT? They've lost him completely. Yes, he's going CT. Okay, Acor, how switched on are you? He's definitely positioned himself to be safe from CT. You can't really fault his positioning. Now, there is a chance that Golden jumps up for info. Oh, boy, this is going to come down to timing. I don't think he has enough time to clear this position. I mean, you said that, and then you saw Crims check mid at 13 seconds. That's true. So here comes the jump. Oh, it was so half-hearted. Didn't really check it, and that ends the life of Golden. 10 rounds. Mad Lion's going to be happy with that. It's a good haul. See how it fares in the second half. BRB. Lions head into the attack. You can see Samuelson preparing for the defense. Fnatic down five to ten. And it all comes down to the final half of Mirage. Three map brawl between these two. Golden the in-game leader. 
feel like you, you your calls are taken with an ounce more respect when you've got a moustache. I can you know? agree. I think you, there's no coincidence generals in military um, formations often had facial hair. I'm it's just true. telling you, Golden's moustache is the source of his authority. And we do find a aggress towards middle. It'll be JW to have a little look. Oh, I love this molly. And the molly lands perfectly. That's a hard one to throw, at least for me and my little brain. And so a smoke feels like a short presence. Oh, it's a fake as well. They're going up through connected. JW might get lured into this. Oh, yeah, I'd be spamming that smoke right about now. But bunny hopping Danes, an iconic mix on pistol. You can see how difficult of a target that was to hit. Golden, similar task ahead of him. Shush still hasn't announced his palace presence, palace presence and... Well, the bomb's down thanks to Hooksy. Gets away with it as well. Shush still doesn't move because he doesn't need to. The CTs gather in CT rather appropriately, and there's four of them about to flood into the site. Roy, what have you got for us, bro? They're going to peek from four different elevations. Golden's high. Brolin's close. Roy knows time is his friend. Shush still hasn't peeked. He's sketching me out now. Timing's everything. Crimson's holding it, and he's got the frag. They're diffusing. Golden's on it, and Fnatic, a phenomenal retake. A flurry of frags, it's all blue on brown. And they take the sixth, just like that, by force. That's a frustrating round for Mad Lions to lose, but I think at this point, they're kind of familiar with losing those style of rounds. Yeah. That could have been a sitter. That could have really set them up to close map number three out in style. I was about to highlight how fantastic that pistol round was, how the smoke they used on cap for misdirection for the mid to B also covered the planted to be planted towards the triple box. It was all the highlights in my mind. And then next minute, Fnatic, well, they still went away and they set themselves up to convert against the force by aggressive towards middle. They want to fight. Hooks, he's going fast. He's faking this. He's doing this all alone. Yeah, and he's getting pretty damn good progress already. Sound cues, progress up on Acor, given a chance. A minimal chance. Shush challenges him out, and actually it's refreshed to open up the chances for the Mad Lions. Connector goes down. These wallbangs from Brolin are relentless. He eventually wins out. He's definitely calculated them, and now the FAMAS does continue to connect. Acor stands his ground. Crim's found. Just a core. And they confirm his location. There's just a group of Fnatic and CT, so. It's pushed on, and Fnatic will convert their second. Now, that puts us into a full eco into the yeah. third. He says with bated breath. Uh, you, you better be right. I don't think Mad Lion should opt in with too much here. I could say that uh, the likes of Eagle. Refresh and Co. could get Deagles without armor. Yeah, that's very frustrating for Refresh right there. They just didn't have any control. If Hooksy had stayed alive over towards Vent Room and harassed, then potentially they could have planted open side. But without any space, without any utility, it's a hard one to win, and they weren't presented the jewels. So good stuff from Fnatic, and they're up to seven rounds now. This should be eight. It's only one Deagle in the hands of Refresh. Everybody else has opted to hold on to their pennies, and Acor definitely needs to do so. That AWP needs to come out in round number 19, and JW's about to get a freebie. I don't know how free that was, but yeah, this one should very well not translate into anything more. But a bomb plan, you take those. Hold up a second. He's still got this Deagle, and JW's low. If he calls correct, wow, flush it through the box. There could have been a kill onto JW close range, and then he would have been able to pick up one of these rifles on the site. And at that point, with some of the things we've seen Refresh do here today, maybe it wouldn't be out of the question. Acor, he has been quiet. Nine kills for him. Shush, only on five frags. The impact has come from Refresh and Hooksy combined, with Roy chiming in. They're going to need Acor to come alive on the T side with a couple of AWP openings, because Fnatic, the more room you give them to get back into this game, Crim's now up to eight. Brolin contributing with nine. JW's been leading the charge on 17, keeping them in this. But on the CT side, that's where we're going to see Crims and the likes of Brolin do their best work. Brolin anchoring A, Crims over towards Connector in his classic position. And then JW all over the map with the AWP. Keep your eyes peeled, Mad Lions. You're in for a, a ride. Yeah, they've got managed to get some bomb plants. So it's, it kind of it fills me with some degree of confidence that the weapon rounds will see the same prior treatment. But yeah, opening three, all Fanatics. A 10-5 half, close the gap. And that's the beauty of CS. A 10-5 can feel like the end of the world, the end of the game. But... Win that pistol, get that momentum, and already looking like Fnatic can really continue to be a thorn in their side. Brolin, he's lost his jewel, does give them some space. Mad Lions are starting to flex. Golden is ready and waiting for that smoke push, and he may even get some more. Refresh was low, his bullets don't quite find the mark. 
Just three for Fnatic as they retreat behind the smoke. And oh, Hooksy's wild spray on the last ditch moments before he looked away. Peeking in, it's a double in both them of both, them. Yeah. yeah, that's a huge amount of info. They know at least where both of the CTs are coming from. No CT, found funny business here. Oh, oh no. Eight four. He's going to be kicking himself. He had a freebie onto Crims, doesn't find the instant headshot and a quick reaction from the Swede. I'll refresh. He's going to burn. Hooksy's going to have to clutch up. What do you do? He pushes forward and he burns. Hooksy to clutch. Just like that, Fnatic constantly making rounds out of nothing. If he Smoke on the bomb. Flush up. Oh, no. He just about finds the mark. And there's no time. Is there time? There's no time. There's no time. There's none. Okay, Mad Lions. Thank you, Hooksy. He delivers them a saving grace through the smoke. And that's the second smoke shot he got in that round. <sighs> Problems there. Problems there. Mad lines. It felt like they almost gave that one away. Refresh did a great job of opening things Look up. Look at that. Look. Wow. And a second as well. This is Acorse. Gets him down to 12 and the spray just a little narrow. I bet he's thanking his lucky stars. He's got Hooksy on his squad. Saves Especially today. like his reaction after he died. That's pretty horrific. Imagine his reaction after he sees Refresh die. Yeah. That's when you really start yeah. panicking. Like, oh, dude, not no, only no, did no, I no, mess no, up. No, no, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, Fnatic have bought in. JW, AWP, MP9 for Crims, MP9 for Flusher, and they're being harassed over towards they're going P already. Fast. It's very weird. fast. What's going on with this utility usage? It's a good molly. They have to move. That's a really good molly. He's desperately trying to suppress them with the MP9. He does get overrun. Golden So, Flash, he's down as well. You know it's Refresh who collects them. He's having a, such a series against Fnatic and the save calls made. JW fires off the shot, though, so awareness as to the AWP, but probably not too, too much of a desire to go chasing. Alex, if they win this series without Acor having a pop-off performance, yeah, that's, saying that's a huge win. You're this right. is uh, as a team that Mad Lions have been able to get across here. Hooksy is showing that impact, and not only was he right about the fact he's not going to hemorrhage in the in-game leader fragging department. He's stepping he's, up. He's calling them into this, and he's fragging with some massive impact. I mean, calling that, that all-in B, because there was a lot of pace behind that. Yeah, yeah it feel, felt very... Scary, you know, you're, you're making it very clear where you're coming from. You're not hiding your footsteps. You're throwing nades early. Could be a stack, but overcoming that fear and converting. And they've kept all five alive against a wonky buy of Fnatic. These are the rounds that they struggled Imagine with if, on Inferno. Yeah, they did that on Inferno. Could The series could be over. And the fact that Mad Lion's not only having such a close but no cigar moment, to come in with a clean mental slate and for Refresh to continue to entry frag, he has really been doing it for him. So Mad Lions 12, Fnatic 8, third map, Mirage, and we go again. It will be a weird one. Don't forget, JW Scarpered, Crims did too, so we got saved Orp, a saved Deagle, a saved MP9. <laughs> All right, hold on, boys. Here we go. Don't do it, Mad Lions. <laughs> Don't you dare. JW trying to play funny business. Did he take the strafe? No, okay. Thinking better of it. Probably the right decision as four members are on the other side of that smoke. So I'm going to fade in a moment. Oh, never mind. Resmoked off towards window. Molotov towards cat. Smoking connector space being taken. Problem with Flusher pushed up so far is if Refresh doesn't check his corners, he might dip on down and die. Looks like a B split is on the agenda. Oh. Orp spotted. They know it's middle. Hooksy's hunting, and JW's got caught by Acor, actually. That's a massive find. They know that the AWP has been dropped over towards Window, and they have control of it. They can't pick this back up, Fnatic. Their best weapon's done. Yeah, it's going to get really awkward from here on out. Just Brolin, Steagle, and, well, the first couple haven't succeeded. His nade softens him down to 47 and eventually just overrun. Great work from the Danes. Another round in the bag. You want the AWP? Come get it. How, how long are Golden's fingers? Yeah. Very long. Gets Hooksy, it. hello? <laughs> is he staring at the floor? He's seen it disappear from his very eyes. Wait, go get it. The orb is missing. <laughs> I've been hijinked. <laughs> Absolute robbery. Right under his nose. Okay. Golden, sticky fingers golden here. And he's even going to kill him. No, okay, revenge. I found the orb, boys. My, my responsibilities have been served. I'm a good boy. Oh, no, because look at the money for Fnatic. They weren't able to reinvest in an AWP in the next round. So if Golden had saved that, it would have actually been huge. 
That would have been a very comical That's moment. A steal. Jeez. Play the Pink Panther music after yeah, that one. Yeah, absolutely. If I get taken off because of copyright, uh, I've heard they're pretty strict. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> All right, 13 to 8 right now as Mad Lions. Look Let's at this. see this, man. All right, hello. Yeah, so it's, 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 oh, it's a pair in front of Hooksy's eyes. He's staring Magic at trick. Boop, boop. <laughs> hmm. Blink and the orp is gone. Where did it go? <laughs> Where did it go? Yeah, I'd be having a bit of a chuckle about that one as well. <laughs> Guys, okay. that's a, that's uh, the second Fnatic timeout being used here. So, you Ooh. know, they're a bit hot under the cotter. Yeah, well, Alex... You got to make sure the viewers at home understand what's on the line here. You lose this. You're out of IAM Beijing. You are done and dusted. Your points going towards the, yeah, what is it, Master Championship next year? Not even that. I mean, for Fnatic, I think their road is, is bumpy being that in that flimbo sixth spot. True. If I was Fnatic, I'd have set my goal as, let's take the whole bloody thing. I mean, it's, it's action-packed, but getting the direct invite to that global challenge, obviously, did, will be denied to the loser here. First round, lower bracket, Mad Lions sent here by an RV. That's the Pro Tour we're referring to. You'll see their points. It's just on the threshold. 860. OG nipping at the heels at 845. That cutoff for the final eight. All right, well, we're back underway. Guns are out. Not a great buy. Ooh, Famous. Uh, you Lose. rarely Lose. see a Palace waterfall approach. They've got three of them gathered there and nothing else. They're going to show B presence and then hope they can isolate Brolin on the site. They can do smokes here from B apps, but it's just a commitment from Refresh. They're sending the crowbar in. And in comes the A push. No way he gets two. Oh, and the bomb as well. They just had one man to overcome. Acor does make the sound. Brolin does get found, but no chance for Acor. And this one just as dead as can be for the Danes. Oh, this is a lesson to be learnt right now. Hooksy's tried to be tricky. He's tried to make a big boy call. And well, with all that utility, all those nades, they could have done so much more. Gifting Fnatic heads up jewels as Hooksy tries to battle in a one on five. He's only going to find two kills. Now, I just want to try and back up what I'm saying here. Look at the money situation for Mad Lions. In the previous, they had a full buy. They had all their nades. They had yeah. all the utility. They've gone for a play here where individuals are coming out of Palace without even throwing a grenade. So think about all that money that they've just wasted, all that time that they've just wasted by going for a trickier play, something to try and catch Fnatic off guard. If it works, sure, you look like an absolute genius, but you're not playing to, to the percentages. You knew that Fnatic had the 1900 into that 2400 I mean, loss Roland bonus. Did nothing special there. Just had to shoot him in the back. So good stuff from Brolin. You can only get the frags that you're delivered. Acor continuing to struggle here. Normally you'd see him convert one of those hard shots, but not to be the case. And now that you've gifted Fnatic an opportunity to have a full buy, to be able to buy in behind this short, they had to rebuy two of their guns, but now they've got utility, now they've got diffuse kits. This is a chance for a Fnatic comeback, and we know it's possible. We've seen it plenty of times before. They're not down and out of this one just yet. Mad Lions, three rounds away from victory. 13 to nine is the score line. Let's see if we go back to business as usual. Two smokes over towards middle, one deep towards connector, one towards short. No window smoke. Oh, no, there is a window smoke, mind you. So they're feigning a full mid control, and they're going for a similar appro approach. Two out of apps, two up a ramp, and Hooksy through middle. Oh, go on, Hooksy. He's popping off, man. If he can finish on a 30, he's 26 of the steps of the way there. That's a hard spray. Shush is having a tough game. It's a tough series, actually. We'll review it later. But in comes Brolin. Another success. Hooksy does not want to give this round up. He's been chasing this victory for three maps straight. Uh-oh. I thought that shot might have spurred yeah. a spray. I think it has going to spur a save, if anything. Golden has to break the vent. Hooksy will hear that. That means he'll swing and he'll grab a kill. No AWP to be taken out of his hands this time round, and it will just be Flusher making sure they can't push through CT spawn. So two guns is all Fnatic are going to walk away with from this round. The vent has been broken. The flash comes through, but you know the round's not being retaken whatsoever as Golden's even going to lose this M4. You wanted the AWP? Well, guess what? You're going into the next round with absolutely nothing. That's 14 on the board for Mad Lions. Bomb's about to go off. Damn, I can't believe you had the audacity to make a similar call. Yeah. After the complete failings of uh, Palace pressure, they go for Palace and Ramp. A bit more utility in that one right yeah, there. Yeah, 100%. And he nope. didn't trust anyone else to do the job. He went, I'll go middle and I'll kill him. Don't worry, refresh. I got this one. This was a crucial frag onto Brolin before he got into another power spot. Three frags for Hook, seeing Peacemaker lets a sigh of relief out of his lips. He's close now. 
He's very close. And, well, Fnatic close to running out of timeouts. This is going to be the, the last timeout remaining after the use of this one. Taking a 30-second breather. Might be some soul searching for Fnatic after this one here. Really reevaluating the end of their year. They still have Flashpoint coming up in just a couple of days. Obviously, there's lots of tournaments before the year ends. But with the slew of results that they've had in recent times, it's not good enough for the players in the server. And I don't mean it from our perspective as pundits. I mean it from theirs to what standard they hold themselves to. You know that they're winners. You know that they love to get a victory. And right now they're struggling against Mad Lions, a team that's only been a roster for just over a month. They almost lost in 2-0 fashion. They were very lucky to get through 16-14 of their map choice of Inferno. And here on Mirage, currently 14-9 down. It's just pistols. It's Flusher on an AK. And it's looking likely to be 15 unless Mad Lions trip over their own feet. Acor, pressure applied, A ramp. Golden's taken space. He has Brolin by his side. He's just half the health of the only weapon they've got. Acor is on a very big retreat and they know it. Oh, nice tuck in. And that's enough for them to be deterred. Well played. Acor was under a lot of pressure there. Looks he's beast moding them right now. Look at this. 31, Alex. You wanted 30. He can do even better. Shush. He's got the last two. Can he make it a clean last two? Because he's been having a bit of a mare. This would be the confidence booster he needs at the end of his series. His series where he beat Fnatic. Confirms they're on the site. He's got them locked in. They can go A. Doesn't know where the other is, though. Oh, he's backing off. I like this. Not getting sucked into the pistols, not playing their game, not giving them anything to work forward. Shush is maintaining. Shush is calling this out. And now we just have to wait out the 40 seconds. I don't well, know if he clears that spot, but JW does it for us. And here's the final round of play. Flusher can drop an orb. They can buy in. Utilities light, kits, likely scarce. And here's Hooksy. He is having mad. an absolute mad one. Look at him go. Get out of here. 30 frags, 15 found. Mad Lions are doing it with a smile on their face, but they're taking Fnatic out of IEM Beijing. You can see the recap in the top right. By no easy feat, they were stretched thin on Inferno, tested to the absolute ends of their mental capabilities. And well, here on Mirage, it comes down to a boost. And Acor does catch wind of it early. Flush it deterred, refreshed, spurred forwards. What on earth is that? Oh, it's over. That's an entry frag. Flusher flustered and he's jumped over his scope. He can swing wide now. They're playing a very nice game here. And JW's got a lot to do. If he checks his bench, if he forces the fight, he's going to get overwhelmed. It's all onto Flusher and Brolin. One from Flusher so far. They know where he is. Acorn knocks Brolin on his ass. And Mad Lions, they've done it. 16 to 9, Fnatic eliminated. And the Danish squad, perfection, especially on Mirage. They'll take it. And that's a huge win for the boys. Boot camp, hard work, it all pays off. And a heartbreaker, you said, yeah, re-evaluation. Fnatic have lost six series in a row now.